on guys, the Comics Kid 2099 here. Today I want to talk to you about Empress by Mark Moir and Stuart Eminem. This is a seven issue miniseries about a queen of the universe and her captain of the guard. Uh, they run away from her evil dictator husband who's the king of the universe along with her three children and then the entire miniseries is them uh, trying to get to safety uh, where he cannot harm them. And uh, this book is incredible. I really love the writing, I really love the art. Uh, let me first talk about Stuart Eminem's art work. Uh, Stuart Eminem probably has the best range in all of comics. He can go from really goofy and silly, like in Next Wave uh, by him and Warren Ellis, uh, to much more serious uh, with an almost entirely different style uh, like this or Ultimate Spider-Man that he did with Bendis, uh, but it's still, you can always tell that it's Stuart Eminem, even with the two incredibly different styles, and uh, that is very impressive. I really love his artwork here. Uh, I think the price alone is worth it just for the art. Uh, this is some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Uh, he does really good uh, spaceships and alien species uh, that uh, all across the board, everything is just fantastic with the pictures in this book. Uh, then we have the writing, and uh, I have been on the fence about Mark Millar before. Uh, there have been times where I was really impressed with his writing, and then there have been a lot of times over his career where I felt like he was trying to make uh, something akin to what Michael Bay would be doing in film, uh, where it's just a lot of explosions, a lot of sexy people, a lot of really dumb dialogue, and it's a mindless action movie, and then it makes a bazillion dollars. Uh, that has kind of been Mark Millar's uh modus operandi, if you will, for a long time. If you look at his Ultimate X-Men run, that is exactly what Michael Bay would do if he was given the chance to make an X-Men movie. And uh, I don't really like that kind of comic. Uh, that's not really my cup of tea, but he has done some really good comics before. And so I wasn't really sure what I was getting into when I bought this, but I thought, you know what? Uh, I like the art, uh, and the premise sounds interesting, so I'll give it a try. And this is really good. Uh, this does not resemble the Mark Millar of Ultimate X-Men at all. Uh, this does not feel like a dumb action movie. This feels like a very smart, uh, fast-paced adventure film, uh, but it doesn't feel like a dumb action movie. And uh, I don't want to talk too much about the story uh, because I do want you guys to check this book out, but I really love uh, the relationships that we get here. Uh, this is a seven-issue miniseries, and a lot of it is fast-paced action, but it's not dumb action. Uh, it's really difficult for me to put it into words exactly what separates this from something like Ultimate X-Men, but uh, this, I believe, the big uh, thing that works in its favor is all of the relationships between the characters, and uh, this is book one of a series. Uh, it does hint that there will be a sequel at the end of this book. Uh, that's my one gripe about this. I'm not sure when or if we are getting a sequel, because this series started in 2016. Here we are now, almost in 2019, and I have not heard anything about a sequel, so I don't know if the sequel is coming or if it came out and I just completely missed it, uh, but uh, this does hint that there's going to be a sequel, and I'm very interested. I do want to read more about these characters and see more of this world, but right now I don't know if or when that's ever going to happen. Uh, but uh, this does uh, leave a little bit of room for the characters to grow and be more explored and more fleshed out in later volumes, uh, especially uh, the middle child here, uh, because uh, the queen has three children, an older daughter, a middle uh, son, and then a very young son. And uh, the baby obviously doesn't have any personality, but then the middle son, uh, he does feel a little bit more like a plot device than an actual character. There is a little bit of characterization there, but the older daughter and then uh, all of the adults in the book, they are personalized, uh, they are uh, characterized a lot more uh, than the middle son. So uh, there is a little bit of work that could have been done there uh, where they could have given uh, the son a little bit more of a personality, but uh, I can forgive that because this is a really good book. Uh, I want to stress that I thoroughly enjoyed this book. So any very minor problems that I have are that. They are very minor. Uh, I don't think there's anything here that's a deal breaker. Uh, I don't want to give away the impression that uh, this was an okay book. Uh, no, this is really good. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite books that I've read in a while. Uh, so that's about all that I want to say about this right now. Uh, I want you guys to check this out. I, I think you will enjoy it. And uh, maybe uh, if more people buy this, then uh, that will give them an incentive to do the sequel. Uh, so anyway, those are my thoughts on Empress. I hope that you guys like this video. And if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back uh, later in the week with another video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.